Hey, it's Scott Orner, Cruise Consulting, and today we're covering a startup bookkeeping term, Expensify SyncAirs. Now, we love Expensify. It's our go-to tool for expense management. We put every client at Cruise Consulting on Expensify. Thank you, team at Expensify, for kicking butt and making a great product. However, sometimes there are SyncAirs, and the SyncAirs, which I'll cover in a second, really delay our close. It makes us so we have to go in there and try to figure out what's going on, why the two software platforms are not talking correctly. And we actually like to do intra-month reconciliations just for this, this issue so that we can figure out the sync errors before it's the first of the month we're trying to close the financials for a previous month. So the cause of the sync errors is usually the expense of my system, which is pushing both the expense report, like a digital copy, into QuickBooks and also a record of the payment reimbursement into QuickBooks, that's just not talking quite cleanly with QuickBooks. They're two different systems. Now, one of the reasons we love Expensify is they're integrated really tightly, but some things happen sometimes. Sometimes the first issue is QuickBooks has just been disconnected or the password's wrong or something like that. So you need to reauthorize QuickBooks to sync with Expensify. That's the easiest one. Also, it's really important. We like to have the Expensify expense report coming into QuickBooks as a journal entry which means it comes in as like an itemized report that you can see every single expense and it hits the balance sheet into an account called expense reimbursement liability, which basically says like, hey company, hey founder, you owe these employees expense reimbursement. That's one of the ways we track it. And then the payment hits that account too, which kind of closes out that liability or reduces that liability. So our preferred setting, again, is for it to come in as a journal entry and to hit the expense reimbursement liability account on the balance sheet. So sometimes, you know, Expensify can be set up incorrectly as a, a market as a bill or hit the credit card or some other account, which will create those Expensify sync errors that we're talking about, which we're hoping to troubleshoot. So with our standard setup, actually it's pretty easy and Expensify rarely has sync errors. But if you're a founder trying to do this on your own, or if you're industrial strength, firm like Cruise Consulting, we're doing intra-month checks to make sure that sync is actually set up and everything's coming in correctly. So it's really nice not to get to the first of the month or second of the month trying to close the books and then have these giant amount of sync errors that you gotta deal with. So we try to preemptively take care of them. I hope that helps covering Expensify sync errors. Thanks.